The Apple Car is dead. Earlier this year, Apple completely canned their Apple Car project, a project that they've been working on for the past 10 years, with more than 2,000 people involved and over $10 billion spent. And apparently, they're now looking at starting a new major project focused on home robots. Yeah, you probably have a lot of questions. And so do I. But before that, we're giving away an iPhone 15 as part of our wallpapers competition on our new Discord. The idea is that you guys submit your wallpaper spec ideas, and the one that gets the most votes wins an iPhone 15, as well as a one-year wallpapers membership. Plus, your suggested pack even gets made. We've had a ton of great submissions from you guys already, so simply click the link below to join. So let's start off with the why. Why is Apple even considering making home robots? Surely, this is the most bizarre idea that we've ever heard. Well, according to Mark Gurman, Apple has been trying to find their next big thing. As we all know, the iPhone is by far Apple's main revenue generator, generating significantly more than all of Apple's other products combined. And whilst Apple has launched the Vision Pro this year, which they do see as a follow-up to the iPhone, sales have been quite poor and the technology just isn't there quite yet for us to fully replace our phones with AR headsets. So because of the uncertainty of the Vision Pro and also the fact that users have been upgrading their phones less and less, Apple needs to seriously consider as many fallback options as they can. And one of these options looks to be home robots, as weird as this sounds. But the more you think about it, the more it actually starts to make sense. Apple's car project was supposed to be Apple's big revenue driver, with Apple expecting to make hundreds of billions from it, as the car would have sold for around $100,000 per unit. But if they somehow start making home robots and sell those for, let's say, $5,000 to $10,000 per unit, they could still make tons of money from those, as the price would be considerably higher than that of an iPhone. Assuming, of course, that Apple manages to sell loads of them. So now that we've answered the why, Let's talk about the what. So what sort of robots could we expect from Apple here? Well, there seems to be two types of robots right now, universal robots and specialized robots. And Apple could really take any approach here. So let's start with universal robots. This is like Rosie from the Jetsons or Mr. Handy from Fallout. A robot that looks very similar to a human and is capable of doing a variety of tasks, from cleaning to talking to you to securing your home and anything in between. This is the type of robot that we see all the time in sci-fi movies, the Demerzel from the Foundation series. And arguably, this is the type of robot that we all want, a super intelligent personal assistant that can help us with any task we want and never gets tired. But this type of robot is many years away. In fact, I believe that we are actually decades away from anything like this hitting the market. I mean, sure, we do have some working models now. One example is Tesla's Optimus Gen 2, which looks like a human, although right now it cannot really do much aside from move at really slow speeds and then grab certain objects. It cannot operate tools yet, clean your home, or have conversations with you. Another example is Amica, which I actually got to see in person when I went to MWC this year. Unlike Tesla's Optimus Gen 2, Amica is the most human-like robot that I've seen, full of facial expressions and features, and can talk to you pretty much like a human can. Not only that, but Amica has some advanced hand movements in the sense that she can even draw. But Amica is not really capable of moving like Tesla's Optimus Gen 2, and it is still unable to do what we would expect from universal robots. However, one day, the capabilities of robots such as the Optimus Gen 2 and Amica will for sure be combined to give us a universal robot like we see in the movies. Boston Dynamics, who've really been the first major innovator in the space, recently announced that they're ditching their Atlas robot, only to announce that it's being replaced by a new version, which seems to have even more advanced movements as well as upgraded cameras. So there are lots of improvements in the space for sure, and one day we'll definitely get there. And maybe that's when Apple will finally introduce their robot too. However, I still think that a truly powerful universal robot is decades away. And if Apple doesn't want to wait, their only other option is going with a specialized robot instead. So let's talk about it. Specialized robots. And these are already on the market today. It's all the robot vacuums, the robot air purifiers, the robot landmowers and window cleaners. It's Amazon's delivery drones, the robot receptionists. It's all the social robots that run around your desk and react to everything you do. It's also like Daisy. Apple's own robot that specializes in disassembling Apple devices into parts that can then be recycled. These specialized robots are usually really bad at doing more than one thing. 
but they're amazing at that one thing that they're doing. In fact, these robots are way better at the task that they were designed to do than universal robots can ever be. Think about it. While you can have a universal humanoid robot manually wash your dishes, your own dishwasher will always wash your dishes faster and more reliably. And while a humanoid robot can walk around your home and alert you when intruders come in, advanced security cameras can also do that miles better and faster. Therefore, the functionality that Apple plans to include here will fully dictate the type of robot that Apple will release. According to Mark Gurman, one of Apple's approaches might be a mobile robot that follows you around your home, or an advanced tabletop robot that's got a display built in and moves around. Now, both of these types already exist. The robot that moves around your home sounds a lot like Amazon's Astro, originally released in 2021. It had wheels so it could move around your home. It also had a tablet as its face that it used for facial expressions. It was essentially Amazon's Alexa on wheels that you could interact with, and that could also monitor your home when you're away. But then, while cool, Amazon's Astro has only sold a few hundred units. We've had our vector for a few years now that could roam around your desk and react to certain actions that you would do. And since then, more advanced versions of it have appeared, like the Lowy robot, which is like Vector, but instead of having its own display, it uses your phone as one, as well as your phone's camera and processing power, which I think is a far better approach. But while this tabletop kind of robot is fun and cute, uh, it's kind of pointless. And Apple also wouldn't be able to price this any higher than an iPhone. And since Apple is planning on exceeding their iPhone revenue with this new product, I honestly don't think that such a robot type is going to achieve this. Also, there were some rumors, a few years ago, of Apple working on something similar to Amazon's Echo Show that's got a built-in speaker, a screen, and then an arm that can follow the user's face. So I wonder if maybe this is actually what Apple's thinking of doing, only a more advanced version of it. Personally, what I think that Apple should focus on is not trying to make such a robot, but rather focus heavily on AI. Apple is heavily behind all of their competition here, to the point where they're having to outsource their Siri AI features in iOS 18. Imagine if Apple had this truly advanced AI, or possibly even an AGI, that would live on all of your devices, it would not only be there to talk to you, but also do any digital tasks for you. For example, let's say that we wanted to start a big marketing campaign for our app Wallpapers. I would then ask this AI to plan it to an extreme detail, create all the assets for it, then execute this entire campaign and then give me a detailed report afterwards. Something that would normally involve a very close collaboration between the marketing and the creative departments of a company could all be done by this one AI in a fraction of the time. And this would, in my opinion, be far more useful than any specialized or even universal AI. And then when the engineering is fully there for an advanced universal robot like we've seen in the movies, then sure, Apple could then add their AI into this robot host that could then help us with physical tasks as well, on top of the digital ones that we need. OpenAI and Figure have already been working on this, and the results have been very impressive. Although, like I said, we are many years away from what this could. Be. Of course, we should be skeptical about Apple even making robots in the first place, because they might not even do it in the end. This is just something that they are currently looking into. Maybe even just to please their shareholders. But let me know, what do you guys think about Apple potentially making some robots in the future? And definitely subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. I'm Daniel, this means Zero Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zero Tech, signing out. Cheers.